Hey, welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to look at using the subtotal function uh, with multiple levels of subtotal. So I've got a, a list of sales data with salespeople, locations, services, and amounts. And so I just kind of put in some random data. I've got uh, a bunch of rows here. If I click in cell um, uh, A2 or really click anywhere in the spreadsheet, and uh, press control end it'll go down to the last row so control or rather control down arrow will go down to the last row in the in that column control end will go to the last used cell in that data set so I've got data down to E902 I'm gonna press control home to go back to the top now you don't have to have you know that much data you might have more uh, but if you want to set up some sample data for this scenario you will want to have at least two columns of details that you'd like to organize with the subtotal function. So if you'd like to pause the video and pick it up after you've got your data together, go right ahead. So here's my goal. I want to know the total sales for Bart, for Homer, for Maggie, etc. But I want to know the total that they sold of each of the services uh, that we have available or that they're selling. So we're going to go to the sort icon, uh, not just the simple A, Z, or Z, A, but the, the, the custom sort. Uh, and if I'm clicked on a single cell in that data set, it will select the entire contiguous range. So first, I'm, I'm going to sort my data by salesperson, uh, and I'm going to go A to Z. So sorting on values, A to Z. I'll also add a level. So let's click Add Level and say we want to sort uh, by service. So within BART, I would see then analytics, reporting, etc. So I've got those two levels that I'm sorting by. Let's go ahead and click OK. And so I can now see that within the BART data, I have all the analytics, then the consulting, reporting, software. And then eventually I start with Dennis, analytics, consulting, reporting, software. OK. I'm going to go back to the top. And I'll click on a single cell anywhere in the data set. And on the right side of my data tab of my ribbon, I'll choose subtotal. So you're going to set up your subtotals going left to right, meaning the first level uh, salesperson is what I'm going to do first, uh, since that's left of the service column. So at each change in salesperson, I wish to sum the amount column. So the subtotal function will initially select the first column as what it's going to group by, but of course, all of the invoice numbers are different. That doesn't really make sense in this case. We need to switch it to salesperson. So at each change in salesperson, I wish to sum the amount. I've got that selected, and I choose OK. So now when I scroll through the data, once I get down to the end of the BART data, and it switches to Dennis, the subtotal function inserted a subtotal for BART. If I keep scrolling, I'll see a subtotal for Dennis. In fact, if I go all the way down to the end, there's a subtotal for Stewie and then a grand total at the bottom. Now I'm going to go back to the top. I'll do a control home. The subtotal function also adds this outline structure on the left-hand side where you can see all the details, which is the level we're currently looking at, level 3. But if I click the number 2 button, it will collapse the data down to the subtotal level where I'm seeing the total for each salesperson and at the bottom, the grand total. Level 1 is just the grand total. I'm now going to go back to level 3. So there's level 2, and there's level 3. Now I'd like to add within the group of, of BART's sales, I want to know the total for analytics, the total for consulting, etc. So I'm going back to my subtotal icon, and I'll say at each change in service, so at each change in service, I want to sum the amount column. So I only need it to change which column I'm, uh, I'm, I'm subtotaling. But I also need to uncheck the option labeled Replace Current Subtotals. Otherwise, it would get rid of the subtotals for the salespeople, and I'd only have subtotals for service. But now by unchecking that, I'll get the service subtotals within the salespeople. Let's click OK. So now when I scroll down, within BART, there's the analytics total, there's the consulting total, reporting, software, training, and then there's the BART total. The outline structure on the left-hand side now shows a fourth level. So we're at level four to see all the detailed data. 
if I go to level three, then I see the subtotals for the services within each group for the salesperson. So the subtotal function is really uh, outstanding, I think, because if you just have a couple of levels of aggregating that you need to do, you may not need to go through the steps of creating a pivot table uh, to get, get the aggregation of your numbers. The other thing that's kind of nice is that uh, you can expand each of these individual groups. So to the left of the consulting total, for example, if I hit the plus sign there, it expands the consulting group within BART's data. And I can always collapse it back down with the minus sign. So that's it. That is multiple levels of subtotaling with the subtotal tool in Excel. I hope you find it useful, guys. Thanks for checking, checking out the video. Please come back soon for more. Have a great day.